In this video, I'm going to go over the difference between probability and odds and how they are not the same. Uh, everyone seems to use them interchangeably, and that is horrendously wrong, and you should feel bad if you do. Let's get into why you're probably on this video. Uh, probability is x over n. It's pretty straightforward. Most people know how to do that. Odds can be understood as one probability over another. So you have x over n over n minus x over n or simplified, uh, removing the 1 over n's from both the top and the bottom, getting you x over n minus x, or in ratio form, x to the n minus x. The n minus x is everything but the x, so this essentially boils down to the probability you want on the top, or you're interested in, and the probability of everything else on the bottom. The next thing I'd like to go over is just a very simple example to show you how this corresponds or works with these formulas and how to relate probability and odds. So the example I'm going to be using is very simple. I think everyone understands it is flipping a coin and the probability of getting a heads. The probability of getting a heads is 1 over 2 or 0.5 or 50%. When it comes to the odds of the heads, so I'm, spe I'm just spelling it out for you just to help you with the calculation. So you have 1 over 2 on the top divided by 2 minus 1 over 2. Simplified, that's 1 over 2 minus 1, which gives you 1 over 1, which equals 1, or in ratio form, 1 to 1. So that's how you solve for both of them. Most people know probability, so now you know how to solve for the odds as well. The next thing is going over converting probability to odds, because as you can probably tell, there's a relationship there between odds and probability, given that odds within itself has the formula for probability and converting from probability to odds, we have p over 1 minus p, or the probability over 1 minus the probability. In terms of the head example with the flipping the coin, we have the probability of heads equals 1 half or 0.5. The odds of the heads through the conversion method equals 0.5 for the probability over 1 minus 0.5, which equals 0.5 over 0.5, which equals 1. From converting odds to probability, we have the odds divided by 1 plus the odds. So when it comes to the odds of heads, we know that the odds of heads is 1. And the probability of heads with the formula here is the odds of heads of 1 over 1 plus the odds of heads of 1, which gives you 1, one over 2, or 0.5 or 50%. The last thing I want to go over is the properties. When you're looking at the ranges of probabilities, you're going from 0 to 1, when you're looking at the range of the odds, you're going from zero to infinity. So keep that in mind. I've had a few papers come in where they put down the probability of 1.2, which obviously is impossible. I blame that on society and how we use them interchangeably when we shouldn't be. So just to, wanted to emphasize that again and make it come full circle from the beginning of the video. The second is that the smaller the probabilities, the more they converge with their odds. So what's that mean? So when it comes to the probability, say you have one over 10,000, you get 0 0.0001. When it comes to the odds of that, you have 1 over 9,999, which gives you 0 0.0001001. So it's slightly bigger than the probability, but the probabilities, as they go smaller, they'll look more like their odds. The last is that bigger probabilities have bigger differences with their odds. So probability of 9 over 10 or 0.9, the odds of that is 9, 9 over 1 or 9. If it was 99 over 100, it would be 0.99, and then the odds of that would actually be 99 over 1, which would give you 99. This comes back to the ranges. So as you approach 0 with the probability, the odds will be approaching 0, but as you're approaching 1 with the probabilities, the odds will be approaching infinity. Uh, even though I don't list this here, it's also important to note that when it comes to odds and probability, the odds is always bigger decimally than the probability. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy, my friends.